Hi guys, so Gaichi here. Um, listen, welcome to my channel. I feel a bit um, impromptu to actually do this video. I was just thinking about it and I thought, let me just do a video. It was not planned, so I'm videoing from my phone. Sorry if the camera is a bit shaky, but let's make do with what we have. So, after putting on my makeup today and was just eating, these thoughts came to my mind and I just decided to share, to share. So, I want to just give a bit of an advice for Christian girls, Christian girls, I'm specifically saying Christian girls for a particular reason, okay? For Christian girls who are looking for boyfriends or want to have a boyfriend, okay? So, what is my advice? Listen, guys, the boyfriend issue is so real in today's world where if a girl may be at the age, a certain age, even from 13 years old or so, does not have a boyfriend, they feel like they are missing out and they feel bad and some go to different extent to try and get a boyfriend. The truth is, it's not that serious, okay? Having a boyfriend is not even biblical to say. Okay, but I'm not here to quote the Bible for you. I'm actually going to give you a an ad sorry an advice that comes from the heart and from experience. Okay, so if you are looking to have a boyfriend or you want someone to admire you, you just want to be out, go on a date, and do all these things that you see on Hollywood movies or even see your friends doing. Please take it easy. Don't be in a rush. This is my advice. Don't be in a rush to have all these things because you end up regretting it. Allow yourself to naturally mature. Allow yourself to naturally get comfortable in who you are before looking at all these things. Let me tell you the truth. It's very beautiful. Very, I find it quite endearing that someone else admires you especially someone from the opposite sex it is very beautiful because i mean as a woman we all if not even just women like also for men we all love to be admired and just beloved as human beings we are created for such purpose as well so i understand where you're coming from i understand your situation but my advice for you is to take it easy don't go in a rush and then you end up regretting it, okay? Please don't be dismayed or um, be distracted by what your friends who may have had boyfriends are doing. Let me tell you the truth, though. very honest truth. None of them tells you what they feel inside, sometimes because they don't even know. But no one, no one will ever tell you the truth about the depth of the anxiety, the distress of wanting to please the other person, especially at such a young age, age. okay? No one will tell you that kind of um, anxiety issues that they will have in that, oh, I need to do this so that this person will be with me. Let me tell you the type of relationship that really matures and sticks on even if you do not become boyfriend and girlfriend or even marry okay the, those ones are the ones that you find someone that you like generally that's a man and you are talking you have something in common the person may not become your friend friend but you can actually just talk to the person and feel safe around them once you start a relationship in that way it could be an acquaintance way, it could be a friendship way. If you start any relationship with that way, you will get to know this person more because you, it will open your eyes to know this person beyond the attraction. You know, because if you're looking for a boyfriend, you're just looking for what attracts you to the person. 
But if you're looking at a friend, you're looking from a different perspective. You're seeing the entire them, like the whole of them. And you get to know all these other ways that and other things that they do. Which, as a friend, you think, oh, that is bad. But you continue being friends with that person. But if you were in a relationship, you may not see it as being bad. You may actually just cover it up or lie to yourself that it's okay. So, um, just a quick advice, really. The main point is, please don't rush it. Don't. I'm listening. I'm telling you guys all these things for your own benefit. It is not that serious. Allow yourself to be loved. To be loved doesn't mean that you have to have a boyfriend. To be loved is just to be cherished by other people. Starting with even your group of female friends. Teach you, like, just love being, having friends around. And when you know how to then make friends and keep friends, this can then start looking into the, that part of relationship. Because in all honesty, if you cannot keep friends, I don't see how you're going to keep a relationship. Okay? So, please, take it easy. Let's not be in a rush. Okay? Um... This sort of video, you just, I mean, I was just thinking on certain things that happened to me over the years, in my younger years, where I actually, in all honesty, forced myself to be liked by people. I was so desperate to be liked. At a certain age, I did not have a boyfriend. I did not have anyone. And I just wanted myself to be liked. I was just going about doing my own thing. And you know what I mean? Forcing myself to be liked by someone is not even a good idea. Listen. <laughs> okay, I, my only thing is don't be, don't be fooled to think that these people that you see today are extra happy. Because I, there's something that I always come back to. If you are so happy with this person, why can't you marry the person? I've seen people that live for 40 years as partners and they're not married. And they tell me they love each other. I, in my own mind, I, I do get maybe they do like each other, but I always like to say, sorry, I always think to myself, to what extent do they actually love each other? That you can't bring God to be your witness in it. Neither can you bring man to be your witness and say the vows that are required for that type of sacrament. Please, there is no point, there is no reason for you to be doing everything that you should be doing in marriage when you are still in a relationship outside of marriage it's not necessary it's not needed you're only going to give yourself a heart attack because this is what happens once you break up you you start thinking to yourself who else is going to find me attractive and this is what makes other people well that makes most christian girls jump from one person to the other and then become like i'll say unpaid prostitutes or unrecognized prostitutes okay so please do yourself a favor. Don't rush it. Let it be. Love yourself first before you actually start asking for other people. Find who you are. If you're in your teenage age, I don't even understand why you should be wanting to have a boyfriend. I'm not lying. When I was a teenager, all I wanted to do is play. All I did was study, play, study, play, study, play. Go out with my mom, go out with anyone. That's it. I never really had that kind of impromptu or just idea of wanting a boyfriend until I was about 18 years old. God, let me not talk about that story, sir. But my dear, I'm telling you from experience, it's not that serious. Don't be deceived by the world and all the things that you see on cinema or movies, even around you. Please ask yourself this question every time you see these things. If these people are so in love, why can't they take themselves to the altar of God to profess their love in front of man and in front of God? If these people are so in love, why do they break up every now and then and find someone else? The, des the devil is deceiving many people on what love looks like. And that is not the type of love I want you guys to have, especially as Christian girls, people who call themselves Christ followers, Jesus Christ followers. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to say, and hopefully this video helps someone. <sighs> Thank you, and take care. Bye. Oh, gosh.